Hi everybody, welcome to Science at Home with the Orangeville Public Library and the TV Summer Reading Club. My name is Katrina and I'm here again to share with you a super cool experiment that you can do at home. Today we're going to be learning about butterflies in Canada and how you can be attracting more of them to your backyard this summer. Today we're going to be making some butterfly feeders that will invite all of the beautiful butterflies of Canada into our own gardens. You can find the list of supplies and what you're going to need to do in the description box down below. So without further ado, let's get started. You're going to want to start by boiling a cup of water and setting aside a quarter cup of sugar. These are going to be used to make your syrup. Once the water is done boiling, pour it into the bowl with your sugar and be sure to have a parent help you with this part because the water is very hot. Now stir together your water and sugar, and once it's all combined, set aside to cool. While your syrup's cooling, grab a sponge and put a hole through the top. Now I use scissors to do this, but you're probably going to want to ask an adult to help with this part. Now measure out some string. I measured about an arm's length, and then you're going to want to put the string through the hole that you made and tie it. While we do this, I wanted to share some fun facts about why you should be making butterfly feeders this summer. So today, you used your feeder to bring butterflies back into the environment, which helps the Earth's biodiversity. Also, since this species will spend more time in your view, you're going to want to look for caterpillars, cocoons, and other types of butterflies too. Now I have secured the sponge and it is ready to be hung. Once your syrup has cooled, soak your sponge in it until it is completely soaked through. Here's me getting a visit from my puppy who is helping out. Also, as you can see, the contraption that I'm using to hang up my sponge isn't exactly common. I actually made this myself, but you don't have to hang it as high as I did, so not to worry about that. As you hang the sponge, you'll see some of the excess syrup dripping off of it, but that's a good thing. That just means that there's more for your butterflies to feast on. And there we go. I got it all hung up. So I actually made three butterfly hangers just because I thought that might mean I would get more butterflies. I think it's important to be patient, but don't worry, the butterflies will find you eventually. One more thing I wanted to mention is the Credit Valley Conservation Area's Butterfly Blitz program. This is a super cool way to get involved with your community and learn lots more about butterflies. I'll be linking the information to this down below, so be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for joining us again this week. I really want to see if you guys are going to be making some butterfly feeders this summer. So in order to show them off, we can be found at Oville Library on Twitter, Orangeville Public Library on Facebook, and Orangeville Library on Instagram. You can also tag OPL Reads 2020. And we'll definitely find you there. <laughs> also, you can email libraryprograms at orangeville.ca. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. Really hope to see you again next week. So, see you later.